Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I again welcome you all to yet another tutorial at Programming Knowledge. So in the today's tutorial, we are going to cover with agency matrix. So you can move to our uh, GitHub link that is github.com slash pro software development and you can find a repository here named competitive coding python you can click on this repository and you can find all the codes uh, which are being implemented in python prior to this tutorial so you can uh, uh, run this code uh, you can run all these codes on your local machine so let's get start with today's tutorial uh, today's tutorial is all about generate all paths in a matrix so we generate all paths from top left to right bottom so I'll uh, give you a test case uh, just to explore uh, like here you can see I have a matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 uh, top left is the source and right bottom is your destination so 1 here is the source 9 is the destination and you can move either right down and diagonal you need to generate all paths so let's uh, code this algorithm uh, then we would see our test case uh, we would run our test case and explore with the uh, uh, results so what results we get so let's start with the tutorial uh, uh, we uh, do this uh, this function with dfs or recursive uh, recursive need dfs or recursively and we uh, we uh, look for the uh like we what we can do uh we look for the uh, first we look for the safe index first keep we need to check if the present index is valid and also check uh, what if what i mean by the index your current position that is the cell uh, or we can say uh, index is matrix of i j here you can you can also refer to us to the current position okay so current index current index uh, i'll write current index is matrix of i j first check if the present index is valid okay so if the present current index it is, is valid and check if the current index can be explored okay so check first check if the present index is valid and check if the current index can be explored so if it can be explored so move either right down or diagonal else we backtrack so we do this dfs or recursively current index is, is matrix ij first check if the present index is valid check if the current index can be explored so if if the current index can be explored we either move right down or diagonal else we backtrack so let's define our matrix uh, we can either take input so this is the matrix so for i in range uh, we can define an integer n is equal to int input so this would define the n cross n matrix so for i in range n we have a row row is equal to map before map we get a list integer input dot split then we uh, append this row in the matrix mat dot append row and then we have a path okay so what we do we call a function define find paths which has a matrix m uh, which has a path comma i comma j then we call this function find paths mat, mat comma path comma uh, i comma j would be 0 comma 0 because i have told you that the position would be the uh, top left so this index is 0 comma 0 so let's move back to our code so now what we do uh, we also define a function is safe we can either check this condition or we can define a function uh, we can define this function diff 
define is valid so what you need to do you need to pass i comma j and we need to define we need to define i comma j comma r comma c okay so then you you can uh, say uh, if uh, we need to define a condition if 0 greater than or equal to i comma is equal to r minus 1 and uh, okay we can do let it be we this is not necessary to implement so we can do this without also I'll, I'll give you a that would be more intuitive in nature so uh, we can define will uh, implicitly define the condition in the algorithm as well so uh, so what we need to do for define uh, r comma c is equal to len m comma m of 0 so this from this we get number of rows and column so r comma c is equal to len m and len m comma len of m of 0 so from here we get number of rows and column then if we reach our destination if i is equal to, is equal to r minus 1 and j is equal to is equal to c minus 1 if we reach our destination so if destination is reached then we simply print so we don't return here something because we simply print so we print path plus uh, since m of i j is an integer we convert this to list and concatenate and we print path okay then we return nothing because we are we are printing here so we don't need to return anything print path plus m of i j so uh, so uh, like if the destination is not reached so we explore so explore means we move down move right move diagonal so here we move uh, down right and diagonal so path dot append m of ij so we append so uh, here you can see the difference this is just a print we print path plus m of ij but now we actually append it here if the destination is reached we simply path will print path plus m of ij uh, if it isn't reached we need to explore more then we really append that uh, integer into that path so just uh, just make a difference of this we, we here we just print it but now we really append it so when we append it so we look for the cases so here are the three cases if uh, zero so this is the first case for i uh, down function but i plus one is equal to r minus one and j should be for the we do the same for the j zero less than is equal to j is less than is equal to c minus one then find path m comma i plus one we would call this for i plus one i plus one comma j so this is the condition for move down similarly we define the condition for move right so this is the condition for move right uh, but for move right what we need to do we would do j plus 1 and call this function for i comma j plus 1 and for diagonal we do the same uh, we call this for i plus 1 and j plus 1 so if and then in the end what we do if none is explorable if none is if none of the above above is explorable or invalid index so anything doesn't work here then we backtrack then path dot pop so pop uh, uh, it pops the it pops the el that uh, element which we had really appended it so now let's run this code so for this test case I need to put 3 also 3 is the n so then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay let me go with the code 
yes now here you can see i have all the paths so let's quickly explore all the paths this is 1 4 7 8 9 1 4 7 8 9 that is down 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 right right 1 4 5 8 9 perfect 1 4 5 6 9 perfect 1 4 5 then we move diagonal 9 so one of the path is also 1 5 9 we move direct diagonally then 1 5 6 9 1 5 8 9 perfect 1 2 6 9 1 okay even this is also at 1 then move right 2 then move diagonal 6 then move down 9 so all the paths are absolutely correct so here you can move uh, like this is the way you can explore all the paths so this is the condition the, uh, you can also define one function is valid and you can uh, check all those conditions for move right down and diagonal in that function by passing the parameters so th this would uh, save you from writing such lengthy if conditions so thank you guys thank you so much i'll catch up in the next tutorial